Isn't it amazing the array of inks you can get? Let me show you my favorite. It's walnut ink. Comes in a little jar like this. Looks fantastic like that. Let me show you how it works. I want to share some of my sketchbooks done in warm earth tones. It's like drawing with coffee or chocolate, isn't it? You can certainly do your drawings with uh, your markers. The Copic markers, the Faber-Castell, do uh, fine tip points and brush points. They're convenient. You can tuck in your pocket. But I have found a beautiful ink called Walnut Ink. So here you can see it. It comes in a powder form. You just see these crystal crystals. They just pour out. And they're wonderful for diluting into water to make ink. Just so just take a little, about half an ounce of water. Use a shot glass, it's really easy to see. And a little less than uh, a quarter teaspoon of color. You can see it's going to sit on the surface there. And then we're going to stir it in like magic. We get ink. doesn't matter if it's warm or cold water. I just use tap water. You could also use distilled water. You should let it kind of sit there and dissolve for about an hour and you get a nice rich ink. Let me show you this beautiful ink in action. So first of all, I've diluted the crystals into three different concentrations. Here I have light, which is a little bit of crystal, a lot of water, medium, a little bit more crystals in the same amount of water, and then dark, which is a lot of crystals uh, in your water. There is no recipe. Play around. Do some samples until you're happy with your range. Make it your own. Make it personal. Quick, uh, here's an a illustration I did earlier. I've used uh, the white of the paper, the light color, the medium color, and the dark color, all in the same drawing. I normally work light to dark, and I generally let the first layer dry before I do the next layer. That uh, helps prevent too much bleeding, and it also keeps your crisp edges crisp. So that's one trick. This is done on grazed paper. You can pick it up in the store. Um, very economical. This is about six cents a sheet. It does have um, recycled materials and you can also get, it's got a cotton content so it's really strong and it doesn't wrinkle too much. For today's demonstration though, I'm going to step it up a notch and I'm going to go with the beautiful papers from Stillman and Byrne. If you haven't tried these sketchbooks, they are beautiful. Can't judge a book by its cover because they all have black covers. You can get them in a coil or in a hardbound. This one I'm using today is the Delta series, which is for dry and wet media, watercolor and ink. Yay, that's what I'm using. It's extra heavy, 270 gram. Um, it's an ivory color and a cold press surface. Cold press means it has a little bit of bump and tooth to it, which I think adds interest to the paintings. The ivory color, I like something that's not a bright white. I like the earth tones, the ivory to go with these nice brown inks. So I think it shows beautifully. And then the, the ivory colored paper. Cold press, you can still get really nice detail with it. And here today I'm going to work on this little drawing of hands. So first of all, I'm going to take my very light ink. Now that the work is dry, I can show you the paper hardly wrinkles. The pages in the Stillman and Burn sketchbook lay flat. Now the ink is dry, I can go back in and add a second mid-tone to enhance the shadows and I can richen the darks in the background.
showing you a little tour through my sketchbook where I've used uh, walnut ink and my simple dip pen to do a range of quick sketches. The walnut ink has a great viscosity so you can draw long flowing lines and the pen stays nice and loaded so you can get all your details and edges and lots of points of interest happening just by loading your pen once. See, I'm not going in and reloading, it just keeps going, just keeps going. Very nice. Another little drawing, a little sketch. Even though this is already dry, you can take a wet brush and blend in more color. I hope that inspires you to try walnut ink.